guys, welcome back to another video of, you know, C3 Challenge. Let me just flip that around. And, um, today I believe is drag car build. And I'm just gonna use a bon find. So, yeah, let's just uh, go to this. I also made a, um, so they have the, uh, old key 30 by like this, you know, be pretty nice. Then the old can ham. <laughs> and then I decided to make a K or not K or not K30, a C a C30. I get confused with it. Because I think of this as a C30 uh K30 and I think of the one of the other trucks. Uh if I have it Do I have it or not? Probably not. No, I don't. I think of like. Actually, I may have it. Actually, you know what? I think I do have it. Um, let me just look through all my stuff. Um. Um, label, label, label. Let's see. All my trucks. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a little bunch. A bouncy boy. This truck. I think of this truck as the C30. And then... This truck as the K10. Or the K20. Um. But, yeah. I'm kind of moving around into my bed. But, yeah. Let's build a drag car. Um, I do have a gasser build, so I'll probably just do something after that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make, like, a realistic-ish drag car from the old, uh, Nova here. You know, I cut fenders. We're gonna change that up. So we're gonna plop, uh, the, the stock bumper on. Rear bumper, uh, stock. No side steps. Like we don't need any light bears. Uh yeah, we'll do the rear deflector. Uh I do want the roll cage inside. We have the fenders normal. Hood. I think that would look pretty cool. Like a, yeah, I'll just do like a regular defend deflector and I have Chevrolet put on it, so uh, exhaust, we could probably, that, that, I kind of like the side exhaust, winch, I'll keep it on there, because I can, and, yeah, of course, the, uh, thing, two gray, oh yeah, that, uh, we're gonna put stock tires on here, actually, do I, just move, I think I'm gonna see what the stock tires look like, Um, do the steelies, but I think I'm just gonna do that with like a metallic there. I'm gonna put it like a white, white metallic. Okay, so yeah, white metallic. Uh, six grand, sure. Sure. Sure, kid. Okay, so first off, put the rim size like at a 1.2 status. Uh, this type of drag car will either sit at, like, tiny tires or, like, least point eights or something. Something smaller, but still. So, I'll keep the crawling, uh, set up with this. Actually, I don't know any suspensions. I only own two types of suspensions. That's solid axle type and whatever the other one is. Okay. So we'll immediately lower it. Actually, I think we did mess with this treble. Yeah. I think the rear's, uh, point two radius. Yeah, I think point eight will be fine. With we'll do it down to point nine. Point eight, but point nine. And we'll just jack them up, make it a donk. Yeah, that's it pretty nice. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty clean. There we go. I'm already a steer mine. I'll just flex it up, see how the flex goes. It's pretty nice flex in the rear. Pretty penny flex in the front. Uh, does the rear have some of it? Yes, testing that. Um, so like that. Because whenever I uh, put the power down and then it ends up squatting, I don't want it to squat through the fenders and make it look a little bit unrealistic. <sighs> I'll put the perfect setup on it and then that, that. Uh, 4.0 is normal for me to put in first, uh, and then 2.5 so I can kind of get that top speed, not really top speed right off the bat, but at least so, like, I have good acceleration to it. Let me just put my phone down so I can fix my seats. Um, and then, you know, third gear starts to get a little bit lower, and then, you know, 6, 5.5, right Run dino. Yeah, see, I didn't want it to, you know, squat in the rear too bad. That's how it got to happen. Uh, it has to happen. It's good on uh, horsepower and turk. Turk, pork, maybe my horse. And we'll have a blair in here. Oh, yeah, sometimes I just call uh, different stuff weird names, like blur, blower. I sometimes call bluer, turbo, terpski, or twin terpski. Um. E-brake, you know, can tam, and all the old Nova by. Well, yeah, let's take the old uh, take Nova out. Actually, let's see how she does in the front part. Not sure if I'm too much. Oh yeah, the rebel crawler. My old uh, rebel crawler by. You know. Using my uh, case on my phone. Just a little bit running. Oh, yeah, guys, if you hear any like bound, bad sounds, it's because sometimes whenever I hold my phone, so both my uh, like my thumb and my like pointer finger sometimes are like on the microphone. So says my uh, thumb tapping, sometimes tapping, like maybe sometimes tapping. I didn't forgot about that. Tapping the uh, microphone or the speaker, at least would be partially microphone. Probably could do better with a drift car with e brake. There we go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll just. There's a good amount of kick to her. Oh, yeah, that's a good amount of kick. Apparently, doesn't want to go straight in low gear. Oh, yeah, I don't really think it helps at all. Uh, ooh. What that is, yep. I think we're gonna have to install a uh, manual transmission or mess with the gearing just a tad bit because I bet I know why. Cause just a simple tip for tuning sometimes I forget this, but just a simple tip for tuning whenever you guys ever tune in off road outlaws. So if you do like a higher gear ratio tune, so let's say first gear is at 4.0, like 2.5, kind of what I had. That would be more of a crawler stance of gears, but then if you do more of like a lower stance of gears, then that will be more speed. Which, um, you know what? Because basically what my mistake was, was the first gear and second gear is fine. It's just I had this, I probably, something from this going from third gear at 1.2 to fourth gear at, um, that. So... I will, I'm gonna try this without a manual, okay, make sure, uh, it doesn't happen, 
and then I'll try it with a manual. If that fixes the problem a little bit. Let's see how fast it goes and loaded it too. But yeah, guys, I will say big thank you for 200 subscribers. I mean, uh, if I hit 300, I will try to see if I can get some type of, uh, like, stream recorder or streaming app. And, yeah, I'll try to get something like that. And then we can maybe do streams at, like, 300 or so. But, yeah. And also remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah. Because it really helps me out a lot. Because, I mean, I'm already at 200. And if you guys can just like, or subscribe at least, then I can maybe get to 300 quicker. Or even maybe 1,000 quicker. And I will, uh, get a streaming app. Yeah, sometimes it's a glitch. So basically you can, so as you can see, I'm holding my, uh, back, the, you know, what makes me go backwards, the rear reverse gas pedal. And then if I hold it, and then also hold the repair button, then I can just keep on going. And if I take any damages, then I can get it for free. Which I think is honestly kind of cool. Um, you probably, the developers probably can fix that, but honestly right now it's fine. See how fast she goes? This thing is sitting at 1.8. No tiny tires, but this thing... Um, now, I'm not going to say it's super fast, but at yeah, 180, 179, I can get that faster. With tiny tires, I could go probably you know, 200 or 190 at least. I'm going to try it with a manual transmission, see if that does something, and then I'll try it with tiny tires, and then I'll end the video there. And yeah, it just takes a vial. But potentially what I'll do is make another video for tomorrow, later today. And I won't upload it today, but I'll upload it tomorrow. It was probably be another C3 challenge. And it'll be like a uh, lower truck, which I have a few of those already. I did want to check one thing. If I still had my lowered C10, because I really don't know what I probably did is built it and then forgot yeah this and add it to my Chevy collection um but yeah it's my Chevrolet custom 10 or C10 as you probably know it and I just kind of built this up didn't really build it on camera I just kind of built it up and it looked pretty nice and yeah and then I also have the lower Dodge I feel like I like I don't really like this it's just one bright at high speed this would be a uh, good out for like a car show and stunt park and this is really can be good out in custom maps reason why this isn't the best to custom maps is because it's too low to the ground so basically my trouble um that's okay oh, this thing could be good i just have to really test it i haven't really tested it Whoa. Cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, but we're gonna put, you know, gearbox. You know, I really don't mind spending too much on this because it wasn't like I built this from a brand new truck. I really don't want to spend too much money. And sometimes, if I stop posting videos for maybe like a few weeks or so it's because sometimes at my dad's you know it's fine because I can post here but sometimes my mom's it's kind of iffy and you don't need to worry about it if I'll end up if I'm sometimes I just have to stop YouTube for a while and that's fine you just have to let me have my break and it's perfectly fine
Because most of my cars, I just go to Hunter, but it's not in Stun Park. It's actually in just a different map. <sighs> just, just oh, I kind of want. Yeah, because I kind of also want to know how fast it goes in different gears. Just stack that there. Put it on reverse. Ski. Jeez. Let's see. I want to. I want about. Four. Three miles per hour faster. I'm gonna pause the uh, right here and then get back in tiny, tiny wheel time. Fifty miles an hour. Damn and dang. Tiny tires just bring out the acceleration. I feel like second gear goes slower. I don't really know. For a second, um, yeah, let's go. Two hundred and seven. Uh, yeah, we'll just launch now. Hmm. The old Nova there. But yeah, guys, I guess this will be counted as the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.